What's up folks, welcome to the Bourbon Shop. My name is Keith and today I'm gonna to take a look at Angel's Envy. Um, Angel's Envy is known for its port wine barrel finish and something that I'm not normally drawn to. It's like, you know, give or take. Um, but I had a sneak preview of this one in the store, all right? And the little sample that they gave me I was really digging it, so I'm going to really get into it and I'll uh, tell you what I think about it. We can talk about price and things like that. Um, like I said, it's 110 proof. Um, it is around six years old, four to six. I think leaning towards the six years old. Angel Envy actually opened up their uh, distillery on Whiskey Row in 2016. And when it's open for produ production, um, it is 72% 70, corn. 18% rye and 10% malty barley. And again, finished in port wine barrels. Um, Andrew Envy's also have a lot of rye out that's finished in the same way with port wine, port wine finishes, or some may be finished in rum, which I haven't gotten around to, but that sounds pretty good. So um, let's just see what uh, we, we're getting into. I love the color. It's nice, dark, rich. Clinging to the glass pretty good. MSRP on this is like 95 bucks, somewhere around there. And again, this is a, um, a store pick, so should be interesting. Okay, back when I was growing up as a kid, we used to have this bubble gum that come in this long tube. Um, I forgot the name of it. Hit me in the comments, man. This is old school stuff. Came in a real long tube and you just bit off of it and put the tube away. Real long string of bubble, bubble gum, kind of thick. It reminds me of that, but I just can't remember the name, Bubble Something. But hit me in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I get a little bubble gum. It takes me back to that. Get a lot of sweetness. Um, it's, it's a lot of fruit, a lot of sweet and fruit, light fruit, nothing heavy. Maybe a lot of some spices, maybe some clove, um, maybe a, a touch of cinnamon, that kind of spice. It's not a bad nose. It's not overpowering, you know, it just doesn't um, just jump out at you. Maybe a raisin. But it's, it's, it, it's sweet, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's a very sweet nose. All right, let's go to the palate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right on the tip of my tongue, first thing I get is uh, it's a lot of pepper. Lots of pepper, black pepper, and some spice. It's 18% rye, so you're gonna get a little, little spicy note there. Get a decent amount of oak. That 110 is really, really nice. It's a, man, it stays on your tongue for a while. It's a, it's a nice finish. I mean, I haven't got to the finish yet, but yeah, the way it's going down, nice Kentucky hug, the finish or the, uh, the coverage on your tongue is good. It, it covers my whole palate with those few sips. You get a nice amount of uh, chocolate, maybe on the back end. I just sell us back there. You get a little, uh, little nuttiness, maybe an almond. But that chocolate is really back here. 
<laughs> on that back end is pretty good. That pepper is really hanging in there at the front end. But I'm telling you, it coats your whole tongue. It just, it's just like a layer of flavor uh, on your palate. Man, that's, that's pretty good. Get a nice amount of cinnamon. Um, a little bit of that clove I got on the um, on the nose, and maybe like those that dates and raisin. A lot of what I got on the nose, I'm I'm getting on the palate. Uh, maybe threefold on the palate. It's really coming across on the palate, and that that 110 is really kicking. Not kicking in an ethanol way, but it really works the flavor here. Um, it, it's a perfect proof for this amount of for the flavor that I'm getting out of this. This, this is pretty good. And I was concerned about it because it costs like 90 bucks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say for 90 bucks in the way I'm enjoying this, I'm not mad at myself for spending it. And um, these are the parts where you know I don't want my wife to hear. <laughs> I'm not, you're not mad that you spent $100 on a bottle of bourbon? No. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. So, um, I'd say for a 90, and not that I would go out and spend that kind of money all the time, but I am okay with spending it on this particular um, Andrew Envy. Now, I've had the standard, and I wasn't a fan. I forgot what the proof of the stand, standard is. It may be 90 or something like that, but it's way too sweet. Uh, way too much of that port wine finishes in it, and that's why I wasn't digging it. This one, I get very little influence of that port wine, but it's there. But it's, it's not overpowering. It's not numbing all the other flavors. So, yeah, I think Angel, Angel's Envy, 110 proof, uh, port wine, port wine. I don't know why I can't say that is a really good buy if um you know that's within your your, your price range I, i'd say you know give it a try see if you can try that at the bar first see how you like it but i really do like it even at that price point so it gets a big thumbs up for me all right please like subscribe to the channel do me that favor it's free it's free but it goes a long way in helping me uh grow the channel and get get the uh, channel out there you know, YouTube is kind of ruthless with this algorithm and all that kind of stuff. But just like, subscribe, and uh, share the channel. Give me your comments if you tried Andrew Envy, uh, 110 proof, or the standard. How do you like it? Do you, are you a fan of the port wine, port wine finish, whiskeys or bourbon? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. And uh, since I'm so tongue-tied, I'm just going to drink me some more Angel's Envy. Uh, FYI, it's called Angel's Envy because uh, during uh, the uh, the aging process in the warehouse, a lot of the uh, the bourbon evaporates through through the wood, and they call that the Angel Share. So, Angel's Envy. I think that's a pretty good name. I'll see you next time on the Bourbon Shop. In the meanwhile, enjoy your bourbon and be responsible. And I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>